So for a while, and this is not forever, but for let's just say the next few months, when you take her anywhere, you wanna just start the training as soon as you take her out, or right before you take her out actually, as soon as you hook her up to the leash. She's in a crate right now. We're letting her know from the very moment that you open the door in these environments that she's gonna be on the clock. And if she's on the clock and she's following the rules and she's following the whole system, which she knows very well by now, that there's no room for acting like she used to act. So we're showing you exactly what you should do. She's waiting in the crate. Now, if you can't put a crate in your car, then you have her wait at the door. It's the same thing. This crate door's open. She could jump out if she wanted. If you open the door, it's the same thing. Make sure she waits. If she doesn't, you, if she tries to come out, you say no. She'll go back, she knows what that means. And then like with your door, let's say you don't have a crate, it's a door, you say, you hold the door. So if she tries to come out, you say no and do that, okay? There's a way to make it work uh, in whatever, whatever the door is like. So just kind of, you're gonna have to improvise depending on what the vehicle is like that you have her in. So here we are at the open door, We're about to hit the ground at the dog park. Okay, have her come out. Oh, she's very excited. You're gonna have to turn around and close the door, of course. But then, you can step into her. Remember this move is really important because if you're turning into her all the time like that, she'll never pull because if she's on your left and you're turning left, sit, it draws her back next to you. So we're gonna travel over to where the dogs are now. Okay. Well, we're walking to over to the entrance of the dog park and I'm keeping her calm. There's a bunch of dogs. Maybe you can't hear, but some of them are barking. They're running around, uh, but they're at a distance. And whenever you're dealing with a dog with Layla's issues, you always wanna start your training, sit at a distance from the distractions. In this case, it's other dogs and gradually move closer. Cause then you'll see at what point, oh, like it's 10 feet away and closer that she really has an issue. But farther away than that, you can work on, on all her stuff and she stays calm. And if you do that, you'll be able to keep getting closer and closer and closer and closer. You never just take her into the heat of the moment uh, when it's more than she can handle, too much too soon. She has a freak out, then you have to do damage control and retreat. That would undo the training she has up to this point because we wanna really build this up. We wanna gradually every day do just a little bit more that she can handle every day so that even after a few more weeks, like it adds up and she'll be so much different than she was before. If you do it gradually, do it sensibly, have a little success and then leave, that's the way to do it. And every day should be a little bit better. Here's, here comes a dog now. Do you notice how she's looking at me? She saw the dog. She looks at me, good. Even though she's not taking the rewards, she's still noticing the dog. And I don't know where that dog's gonna walk, but I guess it's gonna go away from us. Oh, she's eating, good. And you kind of saw that in some of the other videos where I had dogs walking past us on the street. Uh, what we have here, make sure you're showing the dogs, okay? So they see what's going on around us. Like 15, 20 feet away, we got dogs barking and romping and playing. She's obviously nervous, but she's still able to keep, a, keep it together enough to stay in a downstay, good, and she's eating. So at this point, she's able to actually eat rewards when she's in a downstay in this environment. That's what we want because that food will even make her more calm in the moment now. And she's getting rewarded for working too. That's another way to put it. This is her job in, in, the, uh, in the presence of distractions. When I say sit her down, she stays there and she gets paid for that no matter what's going on around her. That's, that's what we've taught her. And now we're just gradually making those distractions harder and harder and harder and harder. So that pretty soon she'll be able to handle a lot if this continues. So, oh, there's a dog there. Good girl, I missed it. Good, she gets rewards. So I could tell that she got overstimulated but she was able to stay in a downstay. So you wanna definitely practice like this at the dog park because it's your training right now. She's gonna have a whole life ahead of her. She's a very young dog. 
We've got a whole life ahead of her of going to the dog park and playing with other dogs. This is a very critical time. You want to build on all this new behavior that I set in place. It's still fresh. It's not, it, she hasn't been doing this long enough to uh, keep it there forever unless you continue to do what I'm doing. That's where we're making all the videos to show you exactly what to do. Good. And this would be, like this would be the first time, like this is the first time that I came here. It's actually the second time I came here. Um, I would leave now because you see a couple dogs running around, she's calm, you leave while she's calm, even if you're there for five minutes. Okay.